All right, once you've got to this point in your weaving where you've gone as far out as you could without it starting to overlap, we're gonna put on these tassel things, if you would like, to kind of make it fancy and give a nice edge on it. Um, before I teach you that, I just wanted to point out here and the edges, when you get out to the wider part of the circle, you don't have to pull very tight. Just let it lay loose. See how some of mine are pretty loose in there? Because otherwise they start to overlap and bunch up on your weaving, okay? So when you get out and you can't really weave much more, you can pick another color that you would like to have some fuzzy tassels hanging off. Maybe you want to pick a color that was in the weaving to kind of repeat that color. Or if you want to, you can pick a totally new color. It's your choice. You're the artist. So I picked this purple color and I'm going to show you how to make one of these right now. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to give, I'm going to um, do about, let's say, Maybe from my arm, my hand to my elbow. That's about how it doesn't show it on the camera very well. And I'm going to repeat that a few times. I'm kind of like winding it. That's how I measure something to be the same size if I'm gonna do a bunch of yarn or a bunch of string. So I just kind of pinch the end and fold it over again. And it's your choice how many pieces of yarn in there, but the more you'd put in there, the fluffier that tassel is. So with this kind of skinnier yarn, I would probably put this much, let's see, two, four, six, I've got eight strands in there, so maybe eight to 10. If it's a thicker yarn, you don't need to do as much. Okay, and now I've got this bundle of yarn, okay? So I'm gonna fold it in half and make a loop. See how I have a loop there? Okay, and then I'm gonna put my loop through under the string, under the warp. Okay, I got my loop through, put my hands, fingers through that loop and grab the tail and pull it through. Gently pulling on that warp, you don't wanna rip it off of the loom. Okay, and now I have it attached. It's, that's all you have to do to attach it. And then you can trim this. You can wait till you're done with all of them too. You can trim this to be the length that you want. Okay, and you can do that all the way around. You could have some go longer down here in the front so it hangs and shorter up on top. Another option is if you wanna make it even fuller, I, you could add another layer of tassels in there. So here's an example, I only did one so far, but I put a pink bundle of, ta of yarn under, um, after the purple. So you could do that too, or you could just do that part on the bottom. That's all your choice. All right, and then of course, throw away your scraps, and that's it.